Hi, this is Mr. Casuo from 3Chop Elementary, and today we're going to do a fun lesson that involves physical fitness, a little bit of math, a little bit of QR codes, and we're going to have fun doing it, and I hope you enjoy our lesson. Okay? This is Miss McTamini's class. This is a fourth grade class here at 3Chop Elementary. And boys and girls, we're going to get started with our lesson. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is what's going to happen so you know what to do. Okay? If you notice over here, we have like a pyramid set up. We have buckets, and inside the buckets are dice. There are three dice in there. All right? The object of the game is very simple. You're going to get a QR uh, code band, the ones that we've used before, and you're either going to be on the yellow team or you're going to be on the blue team. Okay? And you and, uh, you and one of your classmates are going to compete against each other. So you're going to come over here and you're going to roll the dice. And the first time we play, we're just going to add the dice together. So you roll the dice, you add your score, the person you're going against is going to roll the dice and add the score up. Whoever wins gets to move up to the next level. Think of like a video game. So you get to move up to the next level. If you lose that round, say you lost here, you have to do an exercise for me. And today what we're going to do is we're going to use the perimeter of the gym to run, shuffle, and skip. So I'll demonstrate. We're going to run from this side to this side. Once we get down to this cone, you're going to shuffle. Okay. And when you get to this cone, you're going to skip all the way down to the end. Once you get here, you can get back in and play again. Yeah. Now, wherever you lose, you have to go, whenever you lose, you have to go out and do the exercise. So if you lost here, you go do the exercise. If you lost here, you go do the exercise. Eventually, if you make it to the championship round, you'll be here at red and you compete against somebody. Whoever wins here, I'm going to keep score by using my QR counter and I'm going to scan your, your band and it's going to put a score for your team, whether it's yellow or blue. Now, when you're starting over there, try to compete against somebody who's not on your team. So if you're blue, try to compete against yellow. But once you get to here, if two people are yellow, that means you're going to automatically score a point for your team. So that's a win-win for you. Okay? All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to tell you what team you're on. So we're going to use Team Shake. And the QR bands are here. If you're on the blue team, you're going to get one out of here. Put it on your wrist. If you're on the yellow team, come over here and put it on your wrist. After you get a QR band, go and line up behind the first row, the yellow row of hula hoops. Question, yes? So if, for example, we get out on the green spot, do we have to go, like, after we do our exercise, do we have to go one down? No, nope. whenever you get out, you have to go back to the beginning. So you always start at yellow once you get out. First group, ready? And begin. Leave the bucket like that. Okay. If you won, you go to the next round. So come and wait for somebody. If you won your first round, you come here, wait for somebody to come up. Okay, now you two are going against each other. If you win your round, make sure you move up to the next level. Don't, don't turn over the buckets, though. Leave them like they are. You could just, you could just throw them into the, into the bucket. It'll keep it in there nice for you. That's okay. If it goes through, you can still tell what the number is. Okay, once, once you win, you come up here. Eventually, you'll get to the championship round. Don't forget to do your exercise when you lose. Okay, just do it again if you tied. All right, we have somebody waiting in the championship round for somebody. All right, who won that round? If it goes out, that's okay, just use the score. All right, so you're here waiting for somebody. Did you win? All right, so you can go against her.
Try to get in the shortest line if you can. Try to get into the shortest line. We have somebody waiting in the championship round. All right, who won? All right, championship round. Let's see who's going to win. Oh, you're going to automatic win-win. All right, seven. And, oh. All right, so we have a winner. So you go do your exercise. We'll scan yours. One point for yellow. All right, you made it to the championship round. Okay, who won? Ten. Okay, so you go and you go do your exercise. All right. Oh, that's good. That means you're automatically going to win. So go ahead and roll. Let's see who's winning. One of you still has to do the exercise, though. So you're 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 playing for something, right? All right. Let's see. What'd you get? 12, and what'd you have? 11. All right, so you go do the exercise. Let's scan you. Oh no, that's a point for the blue team. Okay, go ahead. Do I have to do the exercise? No, you get to go back to the beginning. All right, so you're going against each other? Okay, you're waiting at the championship round. Okay, another championship round. Who do we have? What'd you get? 15. 15. All right. Let's scan you. It's, I think it's having a hard time with the, the, the glare. Come on now. That one might not be working. I'll fix another one. Let me borrow yours. Let me borrow yours for a minute and see if it's working. There we go. All right, keep playing. Keep playing. All right, who's in the championship round? Ooh, it's yellow against blue. Who's it going to be in this round? All right, you can use it. Six. What'd you get? All right. Fifteen. And nine. All right, yellow's the winner. All right, we're going to change the rules up a little bit. We're going to make it more complicated because you are fourth graders, and adding three numbers is really not that hard for you, is it? So now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply. So if you notice, if you notice on the ground is a piece of scratch paper and a pencil if you need it. So now you are multiplying the three numbers. So if you get lower numbers, it might not be that hard, but if you get some higher numbers, you might need to use the scrap paper. Okay? All right. The first number against the next number, or that number with the next number. All right, ready? Go. All right, so if it's low numbers, it's not that hard. If you need the scrap piece of paper, use it. All right, so we got a championship round. Oh, so that means you're automatically going to win. All right, so roll it. I have not hit on paper. All right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> that was a low one, right? <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll do the math anyway. What's four times two? And eight times three. So you're the winner. All right, very good. Are right, you waiting for someone to come and compete against? 
You just got there, so you're waiting for somebody from there. All right, so you go do your exercise. Don't forget to do the exercise if you lose. Don't forget to do the exercise. You can do them all together and then just multiply them. All right, so what do you got? So who won? All right, blue team. So you go do your exercise. Good job. Oh, it's a close game right now. You got, how could you get two? Oh, you had two and a one and a one? What'd you get? The only way you could get two is if you had a two, a one, and a one. You had a two, a one, and a one? That's pretty funny. Oh, he almost got the same thing. Look, two, one, and a six. All right, so you won, you move on. Oh, another championship round. Let's see if it's hard or easy. Uh-oh, but that's pretty easy, right? You got eight. What'd you get? Ah! Oh, look at that. You're eight one, and you didn't think you were gonna win, did you? Okay, Jason, go do your exercise. All right, go ahead. Don't forget to do your exercise, please. So who won? All right, so you go do your exercise. All right, championship round. Uh-oh, we might need to do some paper on that one, huh? 24, 24 times 5, okay. Yeah, you might need the paper on that one. Oh, we got a championship round, who won? Okay, did, did you play yet? If you lose, you have to go do, you have to go do your exercise. Oh, you haven't competed yet? Okay, go ahead. All right, you won? You won from there to there? Give me five, dude. Who won? All right, go do your exercise. We're almost out of time, so what I'd like you to do is put, leave the equipment just the way it is and go sit back down on your spots for a second. And I'm gonna tell you what the score was. Yes, uh, as, on, your way, on your way back to your spots, please put your QR code bands in the buckets. Put them in the right bucket for me, please. Yellow. I will right, we'll give you the last last one for yellow. Good. All right, quickly have a seat, please. All right, quickly. Okay, boys and girls. First of all, um, just a quick little fact for you about QR codes. QR codes uh, were invented in 1994 by uh, a man from Japan, and the, way, the reason why he, he invented it was because he wanted to use it in the auto, automobile industry. It was a way for them to track the vehicles as they went along, which is kind of an interesting fact, which I learned recently about when I was trying to figure out where QR codes came from. Okay, you did a great job today. We got a chance to use QR codes. We got a chance to do a little bit of math. We got a chance to do, uh, move a little bit. And I hope you had fun with it, all right?
Um, you want to know who won? Okay. It was pretty close. Now remember, when you play a game like this, it's not a high score because it takes a while to get to the top, right? The final score was seven to five. And you want to know who won? All right, ready? Jump, drum roll. The blue team won. All right. So remember, boys and girls, remember what we always talk about. It, sportsmanship is it's okay to cheer and be happy when you, when you win, as long as you're not bragging and still talking about it 20 minutes later. And it's okay if your team loses because most of the time when you play games and you have competitions, you lose more than you win, right? So good job today. Thanks for coming to visit us here at Three Chop Elementary. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. <laughs>